Hello, we're going to go ahead and continue from where we left uh, the discussion in the previous videos. I'm going to go ahead and use those six uh, uh, attributes or field names as my basis for my entity, which we're going to call it Books in Microsoft Access. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open Microsoft Access. It's 2010 here to be specific. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one here DB uh, List of Books. Uh, I'd rather uh, tell you what I why did I put actually DB in the beginning. Uh, DB is to remind me this is really a database. It's a conventional way uh, to distinguish this name of file from other type of files. Uh, uh, it's not a must, but it's good to have it to really name your uh, whatever object that we use because we're going to have tables, we're going to have query, we're going to have report, uh, reports, and we're going to have form. And we'd like to name each one of them with the right... Um, uh, prefix. So immediately uh, uh, access give me a table by default. I could go ahead and uh, look at the uh, view here. I could change the view to another uh, directly but I want it to a different view but I wanted to go ahead and create another table here but directly from uh, the uh, uh, table design as you notice. Now I have three tables already. Of course I could go ahead and close that and I have this one here, table one, table two, and table three. None of those is going to uh, help me except the one that I'm going to in, uh, up using for my data. So let's go ahead and enter the data here. The first one was book name, as you recall, and I actually have here the data type as text. And I wanted to specify this is as 50. But let's take a look quickly at what other type of data that we have. We have a memo. Memo is for a long uh, uh, message that you wanted to list. You know, if you have a conversation with an employee at, uh, or your customers and you wanted to really specify what the conversation was all about, you could put that as a memo. Number is very important because uh, we need to specify the type of the numbers. If it's integer or long integer, both of them are the same type. However, long integer is going to give you a, a ability of having a large integer. Uh, when I say both of them are the same type, meaning both don't allow you to have a decimal point. It has to be a whole number. If you wanted a decimal point and you want a fraction of a value, then you have to use single, which is stand for single precision. Uh, if you wanted a larger number with a larger precision, then you go to double. That's mean double precision. If you want a lot of precision, then you go to the decimal. Uh, other type of data is date and time. We're going to use that for the data publication. Currency, we're going to use that for the price. Auto number is an interesting type of data that usually is generated for us automatically if we don't specify a primary key for our table. Also, sometimes it's helpful, helpful even you have a primary key for your table as we do here for the ISBN number is to go ahead and allow the auto number to create a new number every time you enter a record. Uh, yes or no, those are the values as we know, uh, hardcover for example. Yes, it is either going to be hardcover or not. OLE object is very interesting because it allows you really to add uh, other type of data beside text and numbers such as graphics, videos. It's called uh, object linking and embedding. So you could link that to another object somewhere in your hard disk or somewhere is served anywhere in the world, basically. Hyperlink is something to link you to another file or to a location other than outside of the database. Attachment, uh, you know, you could attach a file to uh, that field. You could actually do the calculate field. This is a new feature that is being added. I'm not going to discuss that uh, with the depth that I want because uh, later we could do that in the lookup wizard, which is in uh, the feature that I mentioned when we have a list of options. For example, the state names. We're not going to have more than 50 of those, uh, like three majors or, or, or five majors in university. Uh, if we have, of course, the list of the books, the subject of the books, where we specified only three of those, we're going to use the lookup wizard. So let's go back to the text, and I'm going to limit that to 50, because by default, meaning automatically, it's going to give you 255. That's a lot of characters for a title of a book. So I'm going to change it to 50 to save 
some storage. I mean, we're not going to save a lot for five books that we're going to use, but if I have a, a big uh, public library uh, where they have thousands of books, of course, the saving is going to be significant. The second uh, field name is going to be the book International Standard Book Number, and I called it serial earlier and I was wrong. I'm going to actually, this is not a number, it is a text because it's going to have a alphanumeric, meaning numbers and characters, so we need to leave it as a number, just like your social security number is not going to be a number because we don't really multiply social securities or divide them, uh, it doesn't have any mathematical connotation, so we need to declare those as a text in order also for us to format them accordingly. We have data publication here for the book and I'm going to choose that as a date and specifically I wanted to choose a specific tab of date of course now access is going to say you want me to do something special for you you must save your file so I'm going to say okay give it to me and I'll save it and here we go I say must save your table first and I always like to save my table starting with the three letters TBL TBL to indicate this is really a table from, for example, QRY for query, TBL. And it's going to be book. And, or, and I'm going to say, OK, this is the name I'm going to give. It says you don't have a primary key. You have not a specified a primary key. Do you want me to give you those primary keys, like as an auto number? I say, no, leave me alone now, and I'll get back to you later. So I'm going to choose the short date versus the medium date where I have to actually type the letters for the month. It's easier for me to do this one here. And let's go ahead and say OK and finish. So later, of course, it's going to program it for me access uh, where I'm actually uh, going to do that and immediately is going to format the date for me. And I'm going to say here price. And I'm going to say here currency. If I tab C, it's going to fill it for me, or I could go ahead and put that currency myself. Then I have hard uh, cover, yes or no. And I'm going to choose that yes or no. And also we have the last one, which is, uh, if I recall correctly, the subject, which is going to be a text. However, we're going to actually uh, change this to maybe uh, 30. But I'm going to choose that as a lookup wizard because I wanted to specify the list of the option that is going to be available for me when I enter the data. I will type in these values because I don't have any other values somewhere. And I'm going to say yes. Let's go ahead and put, for example, the first one here, humanity. Uh, I'm going to say here s s scientific and social science and say next and finish so now I ended up actually doing the six uh, field names I completed design my table the thing that I wanted to do is to go to the ISPN number and say look make this my primary key what does that mean no two ISBN number ISBN numbers will be the same so there is no two books could have the same uh, primary key, just like no two students will have the same students' IDs. No two employees will have the same social security numbers. And as a comments here, I'm going to remind myself this is really my primary key. And as you notice, uh, I saved this uh, table, and I'm ready to go ahead and enter uh, the table data, but I wanted to uh, just give you the view here in this screen here. Okay, I'm going to save the table and change the view to the, uh, you could change it back to the design view like we have seen. I'm going to take it from the design or to get to the data sheet view. Uh, I'm ready to enter actually a couple uh, books. However, I want you to understand that we do have a row here that all these pieces of data are going to be logically related like logical units to each other. So if I put the first data and I'm going to continue the remaining with the second videos, let's go ahead and say here Java programming. And I'm going to put the ISB number as 0000000 000 
zero zero. Let's go ahead and say J or one. Okay. The data publication now is going to help me because I did use the input mask. See here, it's going to help me format my uh, input and the price. Let's say here fifty three and it's hardcover so it's going to be in the subject we're going to say here since I put that into the lookup wizard it's going to help me to say this is a scientific and uh, as you see when I move to this one here if I say here uh, let's say uh, Egypt and you notice here if I say here zero 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 J1 and I put this one here 0807 2011 and this is uh, $34.66 it's not a hard cover and the subject is a humanity and if I move to the next line it's not going to allow me to do this you will see in a second say so sorry I can't really do uh, let you do that because what is the mistake here I did actually it says the changes you requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index the primary key that's exactly what I did here on purpose in order to show you that you cannot have the same book ISBN number as long as you decided or you had an agreement with access this is your primary key so the primary key must be always unique. So if I change this from J to H, as you notice here, it's going to allow me and immediately saved actually this two records for me. I'm going to stop here because we're going to continue in the next video in how to build actually a uh, form where we're going to add three additional records. And from there, we're going to go ahead and query our data and create a report for that. So until the third video, you have a great time watching this one, and maybe you should watch it a couple of times. Thanks.